creation of beginning of time, beginning of the universe, into the particle system. Uh -huh. Thousands and thousands of particles, all driven on different uh, outside effects, wind and gravity effects. It's all in 3D. System. Each yeah, each planet is laid out, uh, you know, to scale and mm -hmm. and to distance. And, those, mm -hmm. and in this piece, this pyramid, the eye within the pyramid, the, the all-seeing eye, it ties that into Star Chronicles two, mm -hmm. the second one. Because that's where we left off from the last one. So geographically, that's where we start from this one. And this would be either far in the past or, f or far, far in the future, where you'd fly up the Nile, and the Nile is, is dried out. The riverbed is dry. And this is just a, a maybe a futuristic planetary scene. So this is moving into the Golden Bow, which is into the beginning of Rome. Mm -hmm. Thousands and thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. And this ship in the mind's eye right here, what is it? Exactly, it's just moving through time, moving through time and space at such a rate. And this is... This is the Golden Bow here, the mistletoe and the golden berries. This is what what the Druids, uh, mm -hmm. what they believed in. Mm -hmm. This field right here. This grass field just represents moving through time, moving across uh, geographical locations. To the garden, to the lower gardens of uh, the Temple of Diana, which sets on the Lake Nemesis. So these are just lower gardens. The all-important poppy. Through all of human kind, the poppy has been, mm -hmm. you know, one of the most important mm -hmm. roles. Okay, so it's like this poppy's effect on the intelligence right there, the mind. Exactly. Now this is Lake Nemesis and the, the Temple of Diana at the top. And then you move through the gate and then this is the actual uh, uh, olive groves that were reported to be around the lake uh, below the Temple of Diana. And this is a signature whip gas that I create in 3D came as a vision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this gate right here, we're entering... Entering the lower garden, the lower garden of the temple of Diana. Hummingbird. Hummingbird's wings flap at 60 beats per second. Video only runs at 30 beats per second or 30 frames per second so even though those look incredibly fast they're only half the rate of what a real hummingbird's wings actually fly mm. and then this was a vision of a of an ancient um, astronomy you know uh, oh what's it called yeah Planetarium, in ancient, in ancient times, the ancient planetarium that the Greek gods would study, or the theologists would study. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve, Eve's holding the apple. 
tree in the back, a tree of life or something. Mm -hmm. It's a magnolia, in full bloom magnolia tree. And again, the poppies move across the poppies, the bridge across the river of life. Mm. It's all symbolic. And this is the river of life. Mm. This was just just a vision of some kind of futuristic transportation machine. Mm -hmm. Not really sure. Mm -hmm. And then bouncing back thousands of years back, uh, a temple like Saint Germain times, mm -hmm. the water of life. And these statues, they all represent man's, man's step through time, mm -hmm. through civilization. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Latin script. Latin script. It's scripture. So that's some kind of ancient text that we could actually look up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's very deep meaning within that. Mm -hmm. Where would be the uh, place of this Acropolis, whatever it is? Uh, I envision this as being like one of the levels up to the uh, the Temple of Dion, like mm -hmm. down in the gardens, you know. Mm -hmm. One of the levels up to it. Mm -hmm. There's a sundial. Sundial. Again with the poppies and ferns. The reflective sphere. Mm -hmm. Representation of the body, of the whole body. Mm -hmm. And then this is. This is very deep. This represents a state of mind. As you allow negatives and positive energies to enter and some of them bounce off, you then you create a balance in your life. You have to have certain amounts of negatives and certain amounts of positive energy coming into you, certain amounts bouncing off. The Ankh which is a symbol for family. The top is the female womb, the bottom is the male, and the two sides, the two arms, are the children. So mm -hmm. it's a symbol of the entire family. Mm -hmm. So the aunt and the five is two very powerful symbols together within nature. Mm -hmm. That's a, almost like the fish swimming through the aunt. Huh. The symbol of the fish below the fish in the, the powerful number of five. Again, the arc represented, you know, through a very textury Surrounded by fish? Surround, yes, yeah, surrounded by a organic uh, Mandela wheel in itself and spewing the particles of life, the particles, you know, of God's word. The all-seeing eye again. This is a trilogy scale. The Trinity it represents mind, body, and soul in the balance of all three. Mm. Earth is the center. It's the whole world. The astrology signs around it in the balance of all three. 